Yo, what's good, my Eruptions? My Eruption is Green High Flosion here, and today we are going to be ranking the regional birds. The only things we will not factor in are Mega Evolution. Now, let's get on with the video. But if you close your eyes. The worst regional bird is Pidgeot. This is an easy decision. All the birds take 25% or more from Stealth Rock, so that's not a real factor. This bird is the worst because of its average stats. It has a decent speed of 101. It can only outspeed base 100 Pokemon and under, but most of those Pokemon have the bulk with that little speed. Pidgeot has nothing to back it up. It cannot hit hard enough with its below average attack, and it can't take any hit with average defenses. It has a decent move pull for a physical attacker, and the best coverage move it gets might be Heat Wave. To keep it short, this Pokemon is just an average to below average bird. The next bird on this ranking is Unpheasant. This Pokemon is like a slightly better Pidgeot. It just has less speed and a pretty good 115 attack. This Pokemon could actually be good, but it can't do anything with its attack. The best flying type move it gets is Sky Attack. But that takes two turns to charge up, and Unpheasant is too frail to sit there for that long. Now, what does put this Pokemon above Pidgeot is that it has a pretty good kit. It has some fun moves like Hypnosis, and it has a unique ability in Super Luck, which can give you a good chance to crit. Basically, this is just a slightly better Pidgeot. Now, we're getting into a decent Pokemon. This first decent Pokemon is Noctowl. This Pokemon might be the best defensive bird on this list. This bird is thick, it has a base 100 HP, and it can be very specially defensive. It has an average at best attack. Now this Pokemon actually has a variety of moves. It has a lot of psychic coverage, it gets Shadow Ball, Moonblast, and strong stat moves like Hurricane. This Pokemon has strong moves, and all this is great. It even has a good kit for being defensive with Bruce Toxic and even Hypnosis and Whirlwind. The only thing that's truly holding this Pokemon back is that it can't hit hard enough with its attack stat. Next is the Pokemon that would have been number one if this list was made four years ago. I'm talking about Talonflame. Now it's still really good and Gale Wings is a pretty good ability. You can get a turn one max power Brave Bird with priority or a supersonic sky strike. You could even use acrobatics. This Pokemon has something that none of these Pokemon have. Fire Stab and a lot of Fire Type coverage. While most of the birds here do get Heat Wave, Talonflame has Flare Bliss, Flamethrower, and it also has Will O Wisp. So this Pokemon can go offensive like it used to, but it can also go and take on the new role of a defensive Pokemon with Roost, Will O Wisp, and so many more. So this Pokemon is pretty good, but taking 50% from Stealth Rocks definitely killed it. So this Pokemon may have gotten nerfed to the ground, but it's still pretty good. Next is the newest bird, and that is Toucanon. This Pokemon has a really nice attack set of 120. It may be slow, but it has enough bulk to where its speed isn't really hurting it that much. Now, what makes this Pokemon great is its abilities and coverage. It has Skill Link, which goes well with its moveset, or you can run Cheer Force, one of the best abilities in the game. For coverage, you have Rock Blast, Bullet Seed, Gunk Shot, and so much more. This really is one of the best birds on the list. This Pokemon hits like a truck and can take a hit. It will probably be number one if it had an insane speed stat, but still, with a base 60 speed, it can still put in the work. The next Pokemon is so good, and it doesn't even need an introduction or an explanation. I'm talking about Swellow. This Pokemon really has a strong case for being number one, but it's not. But let's talk about why I made it this far. It can hit you in two devastating ways. It can hit you with a Guts Flame Orb on the physical side with Brave Bird and a Stab Facade, or it can hit you on the special side with a Choice Specs Stab Boon Burst. What makes this Pokemon even better is it has an insane speed stat around the 120s. So to sum this Pokemon up, it hits like a truck, it's fast, and it's just amazing. Number one Pokemon, in my opinion, and it definitely deserves it on this ranking, Star Raptor. This Pokemon is just amazing. It has coverage that all the other Pokemon need. It has close combat. This move definitely put it over Swalo. Besides that, it has two crazy good abilities. 
Reckless, which is just a match made with its moveset. This Pokemon relies on strong recoil moves like Brave Bird and Double Edge, so having an ability to boost it is great. Next, it has the best ability in the game being Intimidate. Now, this Pokemon can hit you like a truck and has just enough speed where if you put a Choice Scarf on it, it can do some major damage. Overall, Staraptor is just the strongest bird out of them all. Okay guys, that is the video. Make sure to subscribe and comment your opinions down below. Was I right? Was I wrong? Give me your personal list. As usual, watch some more videos, but more importantly, have a good day.